Nick Terry from Custom Fencing, um, based in Wackawite, about half an hour north of Dunedin. Um, predominantly uh, rural and lifestyle fencing. We sort of run about three crews with Massey Ferguson tractors and Revolution post drivers. Yeah, so this is part of a, this is a small fence on a part of a waterways project with a company called the Halo Project, uh, which is a branch of the Orokanui Eco Sanctuary. All the stuff behind us here will get planted out sort of in the spring. They've got a, enough funding to do about 35 kilometres of fencing, so we're one of two contractors that are part of that. This particular job we've gone with eight wire and batten. Um, we get get the old sea fog that sits in these valleys and sits in there for a couple of three days and it's just chock full of salt, so the less uh, steel on steel we can have the better for a longer lasting fence, hopefully. Predominantly we have trouble uh, getting posts in the ground but with a uh, with a sandy sort of soil base it's it's more of a almost a North Island problem where you have trouble keeping posts in the ground uh, um, because it's a sandy sort of a base all the all our termination strainers are, are, are three meter strainers they're all, all sunk all the way down um, to combat any lift yeah and a full length post driven behind the stay so pretty confident these won't move anywhere Yeah, so posted footed with um, with Waratahs and a and a six inch nail, which is pretty pretty standard for for our practice. Um, yeah, boat footing or um, swinging foots, I guess you'd call them as the North Islanders use a wee bit. Um, sort of probably doesn't really suit these conditions too well. So um, yeah, we uh, the odd the odd time there is where a really sandy spot and a post's got a, a lot of uplift, we'll use a deer post or a or a stay, um, something a bit longer to give it a bit more depth and a bit more hold, yeah. And so predominantly we do a lot of netting, um, not an eight wire and batten fence isn't something we predominantly do, but yeah, a lot of netting. So started off with the pneumatic four millimeter post gun and then basically went into the ST400i and as soon as it became available because it stop us having to drag around a hose. So with the attachment for putting insulators on as well, yeah, sped up the job heaps. Mm. Obviously efficiency is a massive thing. You don't want to be walking down the fence line empty handed or having nothing to do. So being able to run a wire and staple it on the way back or drive posts and put insulators on at the same time, it's nice and quick. There's not a hell of a lot of mucking around. You're not fumbling, looking for staples. It's all right there, just pick it up.